Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Mental Health Mondays. Um, before we start, I just want to um, address the subject of George Floyd. We need to fight back against the injustice that black people have been suffering for at centuries and centuries and centuries. Like this is not a new problem. This is just a problem which is trending at the moment, but we need to make sure changes. And as someone with a large platform, use that platform for, for good. So I will leave the um, petition down below, top row of my um, bio. So not bio description so yeah I just wanted to talk about that and um, yeah okay okay moving on um, so today I have a uh, mental health assumptions right everyone's seen these assumption videos going around YouTube and if you would like me to do one of those then let me know give this video a like or whatever um, but I thought Let's try and do a mental health one. I have not looked at any of the answers just because um, I put it on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Um, that's where I'm most interactive with you guys and um, can talk to you guys and ask for like video ideas and that from you. So um, I asked on my Instagram, sorry, that was really loud. I asked on my Instagram um, for any assumptions about mental health and I don't know whether people have gone assumptions for me or assumptions about mental health in general so I literally haven't looked at it so I don't know whether this video is going to be a flop but we'll just go with it. Okay I'm just going to have a look through them and see what people have said. How many are there? How many are there? 36 okay so they're kind of like a mixture of about me and about mental health in general and um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go with it oh hello trouble you want to say hi oh i'll be albus if you don't know i'll be is short for albus you're named after Dumbledore, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, shall I let you go? Yeah. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Oh, are you tired today? Albie's been poorly again. <laughs> when has Albie not poorly? Um, you're having problems with your ear, aren't you, love? And you might have a skin condition. That's okay, we can work with that. We can work with that. Okay, so the first one, um, let's go quite easy. Um, you lost friends and a lot of years that you regret. Um, so I did I did lose a few friends through, I don't know whether it was my mental health or just timing, but yeah, I did lose a few friends, but I'm not sad about that. Um, I've got amazing friends now, so um, that's not been a problem for me, thank God, because I've been really lucky that a lot of people who I was friends with, like, in school, have all been so patient with me and stuck around and been there for me, so I've been so lucky with that. The years, though, that is something I definitely do regret. Um, I just, like, all my friends have a degree and I'm just here, like, got not got much to show for it so the years are definitely definitely um something that i find quite a difficult thing but at the same time i'm like okay everyone leads different lives we're just going a different route this time um so i try not to dwell on it too much because it would make me quite anxious i think so the next one is more of a general one. It says, everyone with an eating disorder is underweight. Um, that is definitely like a uh, um, assumption that many people who aren't in the realm of mental health can make or th they think. Um, 
you can be any weight and have an eating disorder. Sorry, my battery drained. Just gonna move you in a bit. Okay. Um, so yeah, eating disorders. Uh, you can be any weight and struggle with an eating disorder. It doesn't have, there is no specific body type um, that makes you have an eating disorder. Like you could be underweight and not have an eating disorder. Um, so yeah, I think that generally in society, I feel like that's a common misconception. Um, you are confident in your scars. Um, I wouldn't, yes, yes. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't put it as confident in my scars as such. I would say I'm confident in my body a lot more now. Like obviously I do still struggle with um, how I look, but as a whole, I'm a, I feel like I, I'm quite strong now, like, um, in, inside, so I, I feel like confidence comes with that, and, um, yeah, I, I would say, yeah, I am confident in my scars, I just, in such, like, a way that I, I don't even think twice anymore about what I wear, unless it's around, like, kids or a specific situation but day to day I have come leaps and bounds from the girl I used to be who wore long sleeves for three years so um yeah I would say I am and, I'm, and it's a really nice feeling actually um you think the mental health services aren't great um no, I wouldn't say that. I would say they are definitely so underfunded and oversaturated with people who need it. So so they're spread very widely and obviously the further you spread something, the thinner it gets. So I feel like that's, that's something that is obviously just a, a massive problem that everyone is experiencing. But I think as a pers like on a personal level, the the, the mental health services and community mental health team and inpatient services I received were absolutely fantastic like um, I can't I can't fault them they really looked after me and um, obviously there was like one or two times where things didn't go necessarily right or um, they didn't do the right thing but as a whole um i think they tried their hardest and i genuinely think that most people in the mental health services especially the ones that i've received care about their job and care about the people who come with their jobs so um i think it's hard for them and um we should have that in mind a bit more when I was younger, I was a lot more um, callous towards some of them, like um, how I'd call them the cry shit team and things like that, which I, I really try not to do anymore because it's not helping anyone and it's very dismissive and a very unhealthy approach to people who try and help you so um yeah i do think the mental health service uh so no i think the mental health services um try their hardest and are great to be honest for, for me anyway they were uh pq gave you a reality check if you don't know what a pq is it's a um, psychiatric intensive care unit um it's a place where there is a lot more staff and a lot less patients because um, they, they need more support or whatever. Um, the PQ didn't really give me a reality check. Um, I just hated it there. Um, uh, I was like psychotic when I first went into the PQ, so it didn't really like, I don't know. I was a lot younger as well, I was, I think, 18 or 19 so uh, I didn't really all I knew is that I didn't want to be there and that I hated it but I don't think it was like a reality check as such 
I think the reality checks for me have come um, later on and, I, and from different situations so yeah it wasn't so much a reality check it was more just a really hard environment to live in. Um, the next one is you regret putting your mental health online and um, no not at all really um, uh, I, I started talking about mental health back in 2016 so I was quite um, it was quite it wasn't spoken about a lot there weren't videos that I could see only from uh, Maddie Bruce and then as the years I, I feel like since since that time um, it has become a massive conversation but I don't regret putting my mental health online like um, I can always just delete videos or you know it's just for me I don't find any shame in having a mental health problem so I don't regret putting it online and um, you didn't used to help yourself but now you find self-soothing so helpful. Um, I definitely didn't use to help myself. Um, oh, okay, I, I get it. So like self-care and self-soothe and um, looking after yourself has, has been helpful, yes. Yeah, I, I really didn't use to look um, help myself. I was uh, selfish and um, not necessarily like an awful person but I just didn't do things to help myself like I didn't look after myself properly and I feel like once you start to look after yourself physically um, mentally it comes in in tow with it it's little it, it was little things really that kick-started me taking steps to better my mental health myself. For me, anyway, it was more like um, I was influenced from Pip that wearing an outfit that you like can make you feel nice and I think it was little things like that, um, washing your hair makes you feel better, um, doing, doing some exercise is a good thing, like it will put you in a good mood. It was all these things that kind of eventually clicked and I was like oh so that's why people do these things it's because it helps them what a revelation so yeah I I, I definitely didn't used to help myself you've ran away from the psych hospital um yeah I did um I did when I was younger I didn't when I finally understood that like why was I running away from the people that were trying to help me um at first when I was younger like seven I'm talking like 17 it was I was I, I just wanted to run away from everything I, I didn't want anything around me that was familiar because I it all scared me so much um and being in, locked up in a hospital was I think actually quite traumatizing for me at, at 17. Um, I don't I don't personally think that I should have been admitted to an adult ward but that's a whole other story. Um, but yeah basically I, I did and um, I regret that because it is it was very hard for the people around me so yeah. I feel like in general people assume that you're bipolar or want attention when it comes to mental health. Um, I think definitely people uh, think that I want attention when it comes to mental health but that's, that's like when I said earlier that I'm not ashamed to put it online, it would just be like someone else talking about the experiences they've had and putting that online so I know because of because of the subject and the fact that it is mental health that people think that maybe I'm just doing it for attention but honestly like I don't do, I don't do it for attention like it's not I don't do it for attention in in the way that um, I want it for me like obviously I, I like the fact that people watch and I like the fact that people follow me and like 
um, that has made such an impact on my life and I think if you said to any YouTuber that they didn't want attention and they said they said and if they said no they'd be lying like honestly um, because views and uh, interaction and that matter uh, but it's not for like a self validation I think that's the difference and um, I don't know whether people assume that I have bipolar or not um, I don't so People said that I've relapsed during quarantine with your eating. Um, no, no, obvious. Um, so in terms of eating, people like to talk about eating, don't they? It's a weird one. Um, uh, uh, no, like, no. <sighs> yes and no like as a whole no i am still eating and you know like uh feeding myself and looking after myself in that way but my mindset in terms of like anorexia and that um has been i'd say maybe triggered a bit um so yes and but no <laughs> so so I haven't relapsed but I've had moments where I've been triggered quite a few times I'm gonna be honest uh, but no I haven't relapsed with like eating side of anorexia so okay so someone said you're afraid to get better because you don't remember life before you were ill um no right this is something that I, I really uh, want to talk about in more depth um, and it's about how I used to feel like that. I used to feel like I don't, I don't want to get better because I don't know the person I am when I'm better. Um, and I think, like, I think that's why on YouTube I've had some uh, problems with people uh, when I was on about all them comments and that. Um, people don't know me when I'm well, so they think I'm being erratic or they think I'm, oh, anyway, let's not talk about that. Um, so I just want to say in regards to that, please don't strive to be the person that you were before you got ill because if you, if you, if you want to become that person again, that person was able to be broken and really negatively affected by mental health problems you don't want to be that person you want to be a better per a version of yourself um, I think it starts with finding things that you like and you dislike it starts with really pushing yourself to have different experiences and I know saying like and dislike is a bit um, people might think is a bit stupid but I remember thinking I don't know my views on anything like I've just I've mental illness has just kind of made me such a hollow person and you need to feel that hollow person um and you want to be stronger than before so you want to aim to be stronger than before and I think that's something that you that I really want to talk about more um and if you'd like me to talk about that like let me know because I think that's something people struggle with so much um I don't really know how I'd uh, categorize it like I don't know what I'd call the video um so let me know if you have any uh ideas but um for saying that I I'm afraid to get better um no i'm not because i feel like i'm better and um it took me a long time to get here but i'm here and it's it's all good in the hood okay the final one is that you're over three months clean and i am am over three months clean i know um in two days so I'm filming this on the Monday. In two days, or so on Wednesday, I will be 200 days of um clean. And I, I, I keep saying this to like the people around me. I know 
that I'm going to reach one year this year because that is not me putting pressure on myself or like I don't feel pressure from that and that's how I know that I'm going to reach one year and then it hopefully carry on um, but yeah I'm 200 days basically um, self harm free and I'm very pleased about that so I think once you start um, being pleased about this as like an accomplishment and recognising it for what it is, it is an accomplishment, um, then that's when you know that you're on the right path, like things are going a good way. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I got loads and I was really shocked actually, I didn't know which way this video was going to go. So. Uh, if you'd like me to do a part two, then let me know because this has actually been really um, quite, I quite like it. I feel like we're having a little chit chat. So uh, yeah, that's that. Um, like I said, I will leave um, all petitions and donation links down below in regards to George Floyd. But yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I have loved being able to talk to you again and so I'm going to love you and leave you. Take care of yourself please and goodbye. <laughs> See ya.